to sit with an alchemical. This week is one of those moments. In this podcast, we look at the astrology of the upcoming week. Happy Monday. Welcome back to another vlog of a week in my life here in Washington, D.C. Today is a big day. It's April 8th, which is the solar eclipse. Big deal. Only happens two, three times in a lifetime. I saw something that was like, how is every eclipse once in a lifetime? Because it's true. We did have one in 2017. It's funny because now I've been in Washington, D.C. for 100% of my solar eclipse experiences because back in 2017, I was here too. It is Monday, so kicking off work from home day. I'm excited for this week. There's gonna be a lot going on. It's kind of a whirlwind because I have an event next week that I'm like working towards and trying to finalize details for. So it's gonna be like busy work-wise. This Friday, I'm leaving to go to Vegas for my friend Orly's bachelorette party, which is so exciting, but also like I have so much to do for that too. And there's just a lot going on. So the next four days, it's gonna be, I'm not gonna vlog on Friday because that's gonna be part of the trip, but. The next four days are going to be a little bit hectic. I have lunch plans. I'm so excited to see Lindsay and Megan Hughes. They're in town because they were having Megan's baby shower. I can't believe Megan's having a baby. It's just wild because they're like pretty much my first YouTube friends like among that group from 13 years ago or even longer, I don't even know. Um, long time, and now Megan's gonna be a mom and I haven't seen her in years. I saw Lindsay when she came to New York last last fall so maybe like a little over a year ago but i haven't seen megan in so long they were in virginia for the baby shower and then Lindsay flew out for that and she's flying out of dc tonight so we're all gonna get lunch together and it'll be so so good to be able to like catch up with them i think we might actually watch the eclipse together because it's going to be this afternoon and there's a place we're going to lunch in roslyn and there's like a park in the area where they're giving out glasses and people can watch it. I'm doing my hair really quick. Also my eyebrows, this is an update. I got them laminated and tinted on Friday, Saturday, and now it's Monday. So it's only been 48 hours, but they're definitely, if you saw my last vlog, it was at the end. They were definitely a bit darker and I feel like they've softened a little bit and they look really good. So I'm happy about them. Um, I think they might still fade a little bit. Also it's helpful when I find heatless hairstyles that make it easy for me. So shout out scene, shout out. <laughs> Braiding. I'm gonna get back to work so I can finish up some email threads and last minute things before I head to lunch. Okay, I wanted to show you guys really quick. I'm someone who tends to stick with neutrals, basics. Funny that I'm wearing neutrals and basics right now. Lately, I've been really trying to lean into like getting into seasonal things and colors that flatter me and just like having more fun, whether that's trends or what you wanna wear. And one way to do that that's so fun is through phone cases and so easy to interchange too. This is from Berga. They have so many fun interchangeable designs and patterns. I literally had so much fun just scrolling through the website. It's so pretty. I love the like marble color design. It has the pastels in it that I love. This is the Berga Tough Case. So it's designed to be protective of your phone. It also has, it's it's one of those where it's interchangeable with the outer shell. The outer shell that's like fun, decorative, but pretty easy to interchange. And then they have this protective rubber casing. So this is called the Tough Case. So I also got this pattern. I do love a checkered print and a neutral when I am feeling a little more neutral. I think it's like kind of a retro-y. Yeah, you can like change it for an outfit or whatever. Burger just makes it really easy to try different trends or like try out different fun patterns that you normally wouldn't. They launched designs that are based on fashion trends, but they're both like pretty and durable. I've seen them all over TikTok. Also like Taylor Swift is using them and I'll do whatever she does. They also have this elite style phone case. So it's a little bit different where the outer edge is that like protective coating. I love the gold around the camera too. I love this design. You guys know this is my color that I've been obsessed with. I love their attention to detail too. Just like even in the elite phone cases, they have this like fabric inside that keeps your phone nice and protected and won't get scratched. Speaking of spring and getting into fun patterns and pastels, how cute are these little flowers? For this case, I got a matching little ring. So you stick this to the back of your case and then this part separates. You can use it to prop it up, to hold it, and it matches your design. And not only do they have tech accessories, but 
They also have things like notebooks. I love this pattern. It kind of reminds me of the click books. I feel like one of the covers was like this. I'm a big proponent of journaling, just like writing things down, being more creative. They're also made on demand and you get a 12 month warranty. These are also great gifts. Like if you want to get something for your mom for Mother's Day coming up or your dad for Father's Day. Also with my discount code, you can get something for you too. So if you buy four cases, you only have to pay for two. Such a great deal. I'll have the link down below. And if you click my link, you can get that two for two deal. And plus if you use my code, ChristyX15, then you get an extra 15% off which is incredible. Highly recommend checking out Berga. Again, click that link down below to get four cases for the price of two and get an extra 15% off with my code, ChrissyX15. Definitely so many fun styles. Let me know what other styles that you like on the website and like the names of the designs and stuff that I can check out for next time. But I think I'm gonna keep this guy on my phone right now because it's just so fun. <laughs> Do you see it, Megan? <laughs> we're oh here God. we got our lunch and now we're gonna watch the sun eclipse the moon I'm so or vice versa once in a lifetime <laughs> okay what did it look like it Hi. looks like a big orange moon oh yeah when the pie hits your eye <laughs> when the moon hits your eye like a, like a pizza pie <laughs> like a pizza pie we just had a lovely lunch yes, at the open not, road. We did. Yeehaw, with Friday my gals. Friday. Guys, I'm so we're honored in, to be with the, the sisters. Rosalind. Rosalind. The year is 2014. Yes. My math has gone bankrupt. Oh my god. So Don't speak. I think. We're going to take to TikTok. That, like, after we stopped going, they declared bankrupt. Oh, I'm sure they did. Like, makeup artists, who would go there if it weren't for us? I know. Yeah, they couldn't give us any security. Not even a bottle of. Evian. That was my first panic attack. Was, was it? Wait, and what year? In New York in 2013. Oh, in New York. Years. Yeah, that was like bad too because they were really. I think that was like the first New York Maybe one. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lindsay was just too popular. <laughs> She's just too famous. She's okay. Too famous for us. Shall we go? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, there goes the pigeon too. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Narrate what you see. Cheese, but a rat took a big bite. <laughs> Let's see, we're back. Who we're knew? here to watch the eclipse. We're literally jet setters. Last time you saw us, we were in NYC. It's no. kind of like, you know how the sun and the moon only eclipse each other every so often? Yeah. This is our eclipse. It's true, it's true. We're only in the same place every few years. So we had to But we've seen it. each other a lot, a lot in the past couple of years. I know, that's good for us. I'm proud of we us. We've got two years. We'll have to make it regular now that Megan, there she is. Thumbnail. Speak of the devil, get in here. Can you believe it? Can you just imagine? I know. And Megan's pregnant. I am. Show off that bump. Oh, oh my God, oh, oh my God. Oh. It literally is massive. <laughs> After you eat, oh my God. I haven't seen your bare skin yet. My bare skin, oh yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> It is popping. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, it's moving. Here we go, here we go. We're going to see the monitor. If we can't watch it with our eyes, we can watch it on a screen. <laughs> And without the filter, you could put a piece of paper there and it would just burn through it. Oh my god, wow. Isn't that sick? There's so much more white on here than it is. Yeah. Through the glasses, it's really orange. This place is freaking insane. <laughs> Get in there, girl. <laughs> Take a peruse. <laughs> the cheese. It just vibes someone. <laughs> We need to make a friend. These girls, we already made friends with. I know, but I love her back. That's oh, really cool. Coming to Brighton. Yeah. People clapping. <laughs> this is so funny. I love how we're just watching the people watching. We <laughs> were. Well, no, there is a live feed. We got a feed of. Oh. I'm trying to see the screen. Oh, I can see a little bit. Yeah, it's just like this liver. Some of these people don't give a fuck. They're literally staring directly in the sun. No, they. But never in the mirror. Should I never do it? in the mirror. Don't. Do <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you. 
She heard me. She heard my big fib. I mean, my big fib. Does it look the same as it was a couple minutes ago? It's getting a little smaller. Okay. But that's really the only update. <laughs> I mean, we can see on the live feed. Yeah, yeah, we got the live feed. Yeah. That one still looks like... It still looks like... Okay, you guys, it's the next day now. It's Tuesday, and I was supposed to go into the office today. I mean, not supposed to. It's just, like, that's generally the days I go in is Tuesday, Thursday. But I woke up this morning, and I, like, was feeling like I had a sore throat, and I was just feeling very dead. So I was like, if I'm getting sick, which, knock on wood, I don't really know what's happening. Um, it's later in the day now, and, like, I feel like my sore throat went away. I'm still just a little bit stuffy and I don't know, I'm just paranoid because I'm about to go on a trip this weekend and I really, really don't want to be sick. But anyway, I decided to stay home just out of an abundance of caution in case I am getting sick. But um, I've been working from home. It's been actually a really productive and good day. I haven't really filmed anything, but I want to show you guys my newly came in the mail. So I hung everything up and I feel like this one is not my best work and all the pieces are kind of random. <laughs> But I, I got it in a scramble because I was trying to get like a specific piece, specifically this dress for Vegas, which is a win and it does fit and I'm happy with this. But otherwise, everything else was like, uh, what can I throw in my bag and what's available right when this thing was available because it was really hard to pin down that one <laughs> in my cart. But yeah, this is what we landed on. So instead of doing a try on haul, again, I'm just going to show you hung up and then throughout videos, I'm sure that you'll see me wearing these. This one I've had bookmarked for a while. The picture on Newly, the person's wearing a white shirt under it, so it looks like a full coat, which is what I thought when I initially bookmarked it, but it's just a vest. But I, I knew it was a vest when I ordered it. I still think it's cute. It's like a kind of moto style. It's a little bit like baggy and wide. It kind of has like an 80s vibe. So this is by Pilcro. It runs pretty big though, because I got a small and it's still pretty big so you can definitely size down but she cute it feels really nice i love pill crow stuff i got this jacket by we the free in a large and it fits well i think i don't know if i love the color of it the color is called rust and i just thought it was gonna be like a little more muted than this it's like too orangey like it literally looks orange it doesn't look like a tan which isn't a bad thing i just i don't know um <laughs> we'll see how i style it I feel like I'll just have to wear it with like white or denim or something um because this color is a little bit tricky but it's cute otherwise I like the style and like the collar and everything it feels nice and I got this dress which looks a little too cupcakey on it's weirdly stiff I thought it was going to be more like casual and it looks like I don't know like a little girl going to Easter service in person which is kind of a bummer and it's short so um, we'll see if I have an occasion for this. This might be a miss. This is a large from RM into James, and it definitely runs small because it's really short. But it's like a really pretty color. Would have been good for Easter if I were a child. <laughs> this is not a newly piece, but I didn't show you guys when I got it in the mail before. I got this from Hollister, I think. Or yeah, it's Gilly Hicks, but it's like a Hollister brand. This is the medium. And I love this. It's so cute. I love the color. It's like such... A unique light pinky purpley muted color it's like not too bright but it's perfect for me and it's so soft and so nice feeling it has this little like scrunched sleeve thing thumb holes it's a little bit cropped it's perfect I love it um so yeah not it's not a newly piece but I just had it hung up because I had an extra hanger here. The dress that I mentioned that I'm going to wear in Vegas because one of the nights we're doing like pink and sparkly. It's pretty short. But you know, Vegas. It has this interesting like corset built-in boning. But it's kind of hidden underneath the cowl neck. This is a medium. Has little black bows on the back. The brand is for Love and Lemons. I really wanted to get like a tight sheer top for some reason. I really wanted a light brown one, but it was sold out. And then they had this new design in the same style of the shirt. So I decided to get this. It's like a cool flower design. I think mesh tops are really fun. And I got like a cute little like corset tank that I could wear under it. And I like it. I do wish it was smaller. I got the large, but again, that's what they had in stock. Finally, another sheer piece. I got this 
like see-through bomber jacket, which is pretty interesting. I haven't seen a jacket like this before. I've had a couple different like blazers that are sheer bookmarked on Newly, um, but the bomber I thought was kind of like a fun twist. And I think this is good for like, it's starting to get warm, but you don't want to wear just a t-shirt or a tank top yet when you go out at night. So yeah, interesting that it has pockets because like, what am I going to keep in there? <laughs> this is the brand GSTQ and it's a medium. And that's what I got this month. So I don't know. I feel like a lot of these are very niche pieces that I'm not going to be able to like throw on all the time. Like a lot of the jackets that I had last month, but still some cute stuff. And I'm sure once I like get into styling them and find things that I like wearing them with, it'll be good. I definitely just needed the pink dress for Vegas. So with that alone, I'm happy. I'm just like feeling kind of gross today. Even my bed is like not properly made. It just reflects the state of my life. Um, ugh, I don't know what it is, you guys. Yesterday when I was like at the eclipse and stuff, I thought I was like sneezing and I thought maybe I was having allergies. Um, but then like last night when I was getting ready for bed and this morning I kind of felt a sore throat. So I was like, oh no, this better not be illness. But now like later in the day, I'm feeling okay. I still feel a little congested, like I said, but... I don't feel like I'm actually sick. Later in the day, I honestly just like retired to the couch and was working on my laptop from the couch and chilling. But yeah, I've, I have gotten quite a bit done and I'm like feeling good about where I'm at with the projects that I'm working on and stuff. So things are good. I'm just, I'm getting ready to wrap up the workday honestly and then I'm gonna head and get my toenails done. So I was thinking about napping after work, but honestly like I'd rather use the time to get errands done while I have the free time, so. Let's hope that like laying low today and going to bed early might help and we'll see where we're at tomorrow. Good morning, happy Wednesday. Um, today I'm ready and going into the office because I didn't yesterday and I feel good today. I feel like I'll be okay. And I definitely don't think I'm actually getting sick. I just, I don't know, something, something hit me when I woke up yesterday but then throughout the day I was fine. So, welcome back. Like I said, normally I'm in the office Tuesday, Thursday, but I stayed home yesterday and I worked from home yesterday. And my coworkers that I usually am with on Tuesday, Thursday that like alternate those days with me, um, texted me saying that they were gonna come in today instead of Thursday. And there's like an in-person thing that I can go to and stuff. So I'm gonna go today. And also I had a coffee meeting scheduled tomorrow morning that just got moved to today. So it's like, makes sense that I'm there. I'm gonna throw together a little lunch. And by little, I mean unexciting. I need to get back into like intentionally planning and making good lunches for work because I feel like it's been a hodgepodge of like things I have left over. I'm good at meal prepping my dinners and having those for the week, but then I don't wanna bring that for my lunch because I'm saving it for dinner and then I don't want to have to like cook at night if I already have it prepped, you know? So then I end up throwing together something random like this turkey sandwich thing. It is warm out today, another 80 degree day. It's crazy. <laughs> I was wearing this lightweight top from BP from Nordstrom a while ago and some flowy pants and probably won't bring a jacket. Having a little half bagel real quick. Yeah, I started packing last night. I also, I got my toes done. I didn't film it because, you know, really good, quick, easy appointment. It was like very empty at the nail salon. I was surprised because when I went there before it was packed, but I guess because I went on Friday before. Then I came back and got some stuff done here last night. I started packing for Vegas. And by packing, I mean, I just put in the three outfits that I already know I'm going to wear. I put some hummus in here. I also need to eat this simultaneously. I don't need that much hummus. Anyway, happy Wednesday, everyone. Hump day, except it's actually more than hump day because I am taking Friday off. Let's make it good. My one office day this week. <laughs> Got my fix at the Sephora site. Okay, I know this looks a little bit weird because I'm wearing like a sweatshirt with it, but I have swim bottoms underneath 
and I got these like cover-up pants in the mail. I tried these crocheted ones and I just didn't love them on me. I thought that they looked too like ravey for my taste. So I got these like sheer mesh ones and I think these are perfect. They're like the perfect amount of sheer where you can still see my legs. Cute contrast with a swimsuit. And I'm trying it on with these shoes for Vegas. These little like sandals. I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear these. I also have platforms, but I really like these. So definitely would recommend if you guys are looking for like good cover up pants. Um, I'll link them on my Amazon shop. Yay, that's a win. I'm also watching Abbott Elementary, love, and packing. So it's Wednesday night, I'm back from work. Um, I'm glad I went into the office today because it was good to like chat with some people. I had to like go to another building to try and chase people down. Things are still up in the air for this thing that I have next week. So I'm like a little bit stressed about it because like I, I'm taking Friday off and I want to like feel settled about things tomorrow. So I just have to wrap up a lot tomorrow. So pray for me, <laughs> but otherwise I'm packing. Got my dresses for Vegas. This is a swimsuit top. And these are the platforms I'm gonna try on. And otherwise, like I think I'll have plenty of space for like random other clothes and toiletries and stuff. I am going into the office again tomorrow. I thought my meeting was moved to today, the one that I had tomorrow, but it was actually just moved to later tomorrow. So I think I'll go in for like half the day because most people are gonna be out. I stopped by the Sephora sale in Georgetown and I did pick up my Estee Lauder double wear. It's just, I, I've been trying other things. I tried the House Labs foundation and I literally chased down a color. It still wasn't the perfect color, but I don't know you guys. I just, I keep coming back to Estee Lauder and it's just the best. I wanted to get one because this for sale, it's the best time to buy things that are usually pricey. And I wanted to like have my favorite foundation for this trip. So I did get one in 2C3 Fresco. This is the Inky List Polyglutamic Acid Serum. And this is supposed to be like, I think it's 10 times the hydration the Hyaluronic Acid Serum holds. So it's supposed to be extra hydrating. And the reviews seemed pretty promising. So um, I tried it a little bit on my skin. It felt really good. I'm gonna mix it with my foundation and like try it in my morning and night skincare. Also the Inky List is fun to try new products because they're pretty inexpensive. This was, I think 15. Uh, that's where we're at. I'm gonna try and pack as much as I can tonight and then not have to have everything to the last minute tomorrow and be a little bit on top of things. So, feeling good and I still wanna to get to sleep early. Okay, the next day, happy Thursday, which is actually my Friday. Suitcase is like pretty much packed. I just have toiletries and makeup that I need to throw in, but I'm still using. I have, yeah, pretty much the stuff I showed yesterday and then I packed like a couple extra things like a pair of jeans and like a couple small tops that I can wear for like miscellaneous things. Got more of that done last night and then this morning I've been working from home. I'm actually about to pack up my stuff because it's lunchtime and I'm gonna head to the office because like I said, um, I do have one meeting in person today at two. So I'm just going for that essentially and then I'm gonna come home early and make sure I have plenty of time to get everything done. I just wash my sheets, so I'm gonna make my bed. I think I'm pretty much good to go. I feel pretty good about things. Um, still some things up in the air for next week about work, but you know what? We're gonna do what we can today. I washed a few of my makeup brushes that I use the most or like use face products with. So I've been using this brush for my foundation. I used to just use a beauty blender but I forgot how good. This is just the e.l.f. This is actually their putty primer applicator, but it's such a nice like buffing brush, so I really like it for foundation. And then like bronzer, blush, highlight, powder, concealer, and then a couple eye brushes that I use a lot. So I wash that with the Beauty Blender solid thing. Toiletries, I think we're in a good place. Yeah, my allergy eyes are still going strong today. The pollen count is also high, but I took a Claritin, hoping for the best. I'm um, going to put on some pants, and I'm really wearing a very similar outfit to yesterday, but it's fine because it's for one meeting, so. I'm charging my light-up shoes. <laughs> it's like a, an inside joke with Orly and these friends, um, and we've been texting. I've been, like, joking about wearing my light-up shoes, but I think I'm going to bring them just for the hell of it and, like, when else am I gonna wear them? One of them, they're charging. One of them already had a full charge for some reason. I don't know why this one 
didn't. Yeah, I don't even know if they're gonna fit. I was like, I could just wear them, obviously not on, <laughs> um, on the plane to go there. And then they could be my casual tennis shoes, but they're not that cute by themselves. Like they look like bowling shoes to me. <laughs> so I don't know if I want them to be my only casual tennis shoes to run around. And also like imagine going through TSA with these. I'm gonna respond to a couple last emails that I'm working on here and then make my bed, grab my stuff, and head into the office. It's gonna start raining this afternoon, of course, like right as soon as I need to be there. Um, but you know what? I'm gonna try and go before that starts. Not okay, heading into the office for a couple hours. Let's go have this meeting and then come home and finish the day from here. I feel like this outfit is terrible, <laughs> but I don't really care. I'm barely gonna see anyone, peace. Another rainy one. Finish my meeting and I'm headed to take the bus. And go home, finish packing, get my life together. We've made it to the end of the night. It's like just past 10.30 and I am gonna hop in bed and try and get a good amount of sleep before I have to wake up at five, I think 5.15, I set my alarm. I'm packed for Vegas. I honestly think this is the first time in my entire life I might have packed just the right amount of stuff. Bada boom, bada bam, I fit three pairs of shoes in there. So that's a win. I'm so freaking excited. Come in here and turn off the kitchen light. And got my ice water ready for bed. I'm gonna read a little bit before I go to sleep. I'm juggling like three different books right now. I'm reading The Vanishing Half, which is very good so far. I'm like a third of the way through it. I'm also about a third. No, actually I think I got pretty far. Um, maybe almost halfway through the seven year slip, which is like a super easy romance read. And I'm also reading Thinking Fast and Slow, which is nonfiction, but I'm not gonna read that tonight. I'm thinking very slow. So I'm gonna read something lighter. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to see my friends tomorrow, go to Vegas. I haven't been to Vegas in literally almost six years and it'll be quite a ride. Might be the end of the vlog. Um, if it is, I'll see you guys next time. Good night.